Welcome to the Eckert House. The Eckert House is an 1892 Queen Anne Victorian, representing Wheeling at its pinnacle of importance. This is a house that is open on a daily basis to come and see what it was like when the Victorian era represented everything that we were doing in Wheeling at the time. We invite you to come here and to visit because you will see what it was like then. The Germans who came here became very wealthy in making the products that they were trained to make in the old country. Well, they made them here and they sold as much as they could possibly make and they became quite wealthy. They built magnificent houses. The Eckert House is one of those magnificent houses and it's the one house that you are free to come and visit on a daily basis. Come to the Eckert House and see what it was like in the 1890s. Some of the nice things that we have to offer here at the Eckert House are some of the amenities in, that would have been in the house in the 1890s, such as electricity. Wheeling was one of the first four cities in the entire country to have electricity. Mr. Sweeney founded Wheeling Electric in 1882. By 1892, it was rather common in this neighborhood for the houses to have electricity. The chandelier that you're looking at is an original chandelier that was put in this house in 1892. On the walls, you see hand-painted oils and also the ceiling. These hand-painted oils were painted by artists on the walls and they are original. In this particular room, you see an Oriental style fretwork uh, over the doorway. The doorways are 11 foot high, so you don't have to worry about hitting your head on the fretwork. The windows that you are looking at are not stained glass windows, but color art glass windows. Color art glass was invented in the Ohio Valley in the Victorian era. It's not a stained glass that they would use in Europe, but a glass that they would make by mixing various metal powders with the glass to get different type of prism look through the glass. As you can see, it is quite spectacular. You also see a different style of fretwork over the window here called turned fretwork. The staircase and the, and the knoll posts that you see were made here in Wheeling as well. Uh, knoll posts were a major industry within Wheeling. The Eckert House provides tea. Tea is a very special part of the Victorian era. So we provide it for the women of today to come in in groups, have tea, and enjoy the amenities of what it was like in the day. We also provide it for little girls. Little girl teas are a major part of what we do here so that they can dress up like mommy and daddy of old did and enjoy the conversation with one another. You see, tea was a very important part of society and Wheeling was very high society at the time. And during tea, the ladies could get together and make decisions. They say that the decisions made during tea, the gentlemen would hear in their ear on the pillow at night and be expected to carry forth the next day in business. It was around tea that the real decision making was made and we men were just for the purpose of carrying out the decisions. We are here in the upstairs parlor of the Eckerd House. The Eckerd House has three parlors. Downstairs we have the ladies' parlor, the gentlemen's parlor, and up here we have the family parlor. This is where the family would have spent their relaxing time. And as you can see, they had beautiful amenities within their parlor. This is a uh, beautiful carved wood uh, mantle with wheeling tile. Wheeling was very well known for uh, ceramic tile in those days and this is a this is Wheeling ceramic tile cast bronze heat ex bronze heat exchanger a beveled mirror all within the family's parlor the families and today we would we would call it the family room but this is where the family lived and off of this parlor 
were the family's bedrooms. But this was where they spent their time. Very, very relaxing. Within the family's parlor, they also have a chandelier that uses, utilizes both electricity and gas. Because of the fact that gas was more readily available than electricity most of the day, you could use either. So the front parlor was for guests, the upstairs parlor was for family. Here we are in the servant's bedroom. It's interesting that in those days, the servants in Wheeling normally came from Europe and many of them signed contracts to work here in these homes and would work for seven years if we would pay for their passage and sponsor them. So for seven years, these girls, usually young girls, would work for the family and they would live in this room. As you can see, this room is very nice, but it's not quite as nice as the front rooms are, this being in the back of the house. There's no mantle just a firebox, which keeps you more than adequately warm. It has very small woodwork as compared to the front of the house. The front of the woodwork is only 80% the size of the woodwork in the rest of the house. And the windows are ribbed, which means that they are inexpensive windows. But the one thing that really designates this as a servant's bedroom is the fact that it has a closet. You see, none of the other rooms have closets, but this one does. We used the upstairs or the third floor of the house for clothing storage for the family, an entire floor, but for the servants, only one closet in their bedroom was needed. So in the front part of the house, we did not have closets, but in the back part of the house, we did for the servants. Well, thank you very much for joining us for our little walkthrough of the Eckert House. When you come down to see us, though, remember that the Eckert House has a beautiful gift shop in it, and it is there for your perusal. We'd love for you to look through our wonderful gifts. It is a very unique shop, and it is one of the nicest shops in the Valley. So take a look at our shop, and I hope you will come and look at the Eckert House and learn about your history. Thank you.